Oh hey, welcome to the Tindo shop. That's not what we're actually calling it, but I am Tindo, and this is my shop, which we've just very recently moved into. So this week's thrift adventure is gonna be all about going and thrifting and bringing back stuff to continue to set up this shop. Very excited about that. I hope you'll stick around for that, but also stick around because I've had a bunch of people come by and check out the shop too, and I've had some fun with them here. I think you'll like it, so stick around for that. But before we get started, hit the subscribe button pretty please. We're moving pretty quickly in subs right now, and I'd like to keep that momentum, so please help us. If you're watching, you've been watching a little bit or a lot, and you haven't hit the sub button, please hit it. Now stick around. Goodwill, Henderson, Kentucky. We've been here once before. Hannah bought shoes. I don't remember buying anything. Let's see if I can find something today. Finally, bed risers. Now, you put these underneath your bed and it raises it. I'm a tall guy, I'm a big guy. My bed's low to the floor. I hate getting up in the middle of the night or in the morning, having to like pull myself out of bed. That'd be nice. I already have four of them. My bed actually needs six. And I've always just, I've been needing two more of them forever. Interestingly though, these have like a USB phone charger one, which is kind of weird, but I'll take it cheap poster frame yes please did you find anything no well, i found you some bed browsers yay evansville indiana goodwill more poster frames please It's a Gundam. Well, it's from Gundam. It's a mobile suit. Thank you very much. Just grabbed a PlayStation 1 game out of the lockbox for 10 bucks. Pretty stoked on it. I actually have an empty case for it at home, just didn't don't have the game, so I went ahead and got it. 10 bucks is a great price. Not bad. And a great game. A lot of people when they think bread truck, they think twisted metal. Why? Cause it's a twisted metal bread truck. I don't know what to tell you. All right, last chance, last goodwill. I better look that up. Somebody painted that, which sucks cause I need a one. Real quick, Comic Quest, comics, games, and collectibles. Look, it's Josh. You know this because you just helped me set it all up, mm. but I have a Pog collection, mm. and this bag has nothing but slammers! Which means I think I have to buy it. I'm not gonna buy any the Pog Pogs. I just want the slammers. Two, three dollars a piece. Heck yeah. That's the centerpiece to a Pog playing mat. That's <laughs> missing, it's, that goes to the whole thing. Sorting Pokemon cards will never be as difficult again. That'll be nice. <laughs> it, it'll be really nice. And I bought some uh, Slammies. Oh, cool. That one's at Cancun. It does it say that? I don't know. I, can't I don't read know. It. Keep moving it. I'm too excited. It, I've never, I've bought a few Pogs here and there, but I've never seen just a bag of Slammies, yeah. especially for six bucks. So take that home and put it on the Pog shelf because we have a Pog shelf. <laughs> There's a pretty insane amount of toys here, which is kind of cool. Got so much Nightmare Before Christmas stuff up there. Kind of want to know what's in those Kingdom Hearts boxes. Never seen Alice in Wonderland live action stuff in box either. Or out of box. It's kind of cool. I really like Alice in Wonderland. This is probably the coolest thing in here though. Do you want it? He's huge. <laughs> that is awesome. Don't need. The Goodwills and thrift stores in this Kentucky, Indiana area where we're at, they're continuously like helpful. Like when I made Christmas presents for my nieces and nephews several episodes ago, it was really helpful for that kind of thing. But it's continually not been great for like resale stuff, right? But that's where the Goodwill bins comes in and that's what we're gonna do right now. We are headed to the bins and here I am kicking myself again because I didn't hit record on the camera. This is Josh's van. We're van lovers around here. Had two middle captain seats and we just spent 
10 minutes this morning struggling and cussing to get those things out. Uh, but they're out and we have more. There's my hat. I was just, I was like, did I leave the house without a hat? So I put my fruity hat on. I could just be Dallas two hats. That's what they call me in the streets. <laughs> but we're going to the bins in Josh's van. So we have more room for furniture and things to bring back for the shop and stuff. Uh, chairs out. Now we got to check the tire pressure. Do you know what the PSI is supposed to be? Uh, 35, 45. Don't go serious mode wearing two hats. Dallas two hats. You look ridiculous. They got two okay, Josh. You have never been to a Goodwill outlet, right? Nope. Never, never been to the bins. No. We'll go dig through some trash and we'll get a full report of what you think All whenever right. we're done. We're at the Clarksville, Indiana. Yes. Goodwill bins. <laughs> Stick around. We weren't we weren't even in the Goodwill for three seconds. I found this chair, it looks a little rough. It was just 10 bucks and uh, it's big. It holds my weight. It doesn't squeeze me when I sit in it, so I went ahead and bought it. Because we have this van to take stuff home, so I'm not even hesitating. We're buying all the big stuff. All right, Josh, you're not gonna believe it. Are you ready? It's all yours if you want it, but it yeah. is in awful shape. Yeah. You can clean it up though. It's worth the trip. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. GameCube controller. I've got plenty of them. Be happy for you to have that one. But but now we need to dig through the rest of this bin to make sure there's no more. Because there are there often is. That's also a pretty good sign because this bin's been here for hours. It's a pretty good sign no one's here looking for that kind of thing, so. Uh, we might have a good day. I keep seeing this thing like five times thinking it's a... So Josh just handed me these. This Rubik's is awesome because I have one, but the stickers are torn off the top. And then the 30th Woody hat, which I would keep but it's shoot up. I've got like 15 of these at home. Sorry, Woody hat. Also, let's solve this beat real quick. Solved it. Josh is walking back over here. He's gonna freak when he sees that Thor's hammer. So I'm standing here so I can get it when they say go. <clears throat> He's got content creators, my good free count. That's what it works. Okay, show me something cool you found real quick. Um, this might be the coolest thing I've ever found. Really? That's promising. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know what you're thinking. Well, no, yeah, yeah. You showed it to me a minute ago, and I thought, why are you showing me an ugly bath towel? Turns it's out, not an ugly bath towel. turns out ugly bath towels make great sweaters. Look at this. You ever see anything like that? Jacket. It's a bath towel sweater. It's so cool. I wanted them for the bath towels, and so I picked it up anyway, and I was like, oh my god, it's a jacket. Well, show me something cool you found. I uh, got the kid in North Face. Yeah. I'm going to show off the alien. Oh, the marionette, yeah. You just suspend this from the van. What the heck? You never seen a marionette alien handmade? <laughs> He's so dope. I love him. Okay. I've found too much to talk about, but very useful. Heavy duty drawer slides. Trash can, Josh found that. Two in your tiny trash can. Oh, it's in there. Here's you another puppet, Josh. Yeah. This is a super soaker. That's probably a get. So we've been doing a little house remodeling and this is a stack of shutters. And I could definitely paint them on this. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Well, we can buy four of them when we get the front of the house done. Yeah. So I found some shutters that I might want to grab to put on my brother's house because we want to put shutters on there. So I went to ask if there was a tape measure that I could borrow at the cash register. Yes. So I could measure them. I want to show you guys something, but be prepared. It's a little unsettling. Okay. Ah! 
<laughs> I kind of don't like it. It takes a while to come out. Okay, so his windows, including the wood trim, are 61 inches. And we're at 54. It seems like they're small, but it's counting the wood. This might be right for the windows. I think I'm going to get them. I think it's close enough. It might be weird, but they're plastic, so they're super light. So it's not like I'm wasting it. No way. When was the last time you found one at the bins? Oh, it's been a long time. It's been a while. This is a Genie Magic one. I have two out of this collection. I don't have her. That's awesome. She's in rough shape. So that's the lid. Yeah, we can maybe bring that back to life. Yeah. Looks like it needs to go on shelf. I found uh, the top half of the G.I. Joe. And I'd really like to find the bottom. He's here, I can fix him. It doesn't even look like his rubber band's broke. Tell this is probably good. And there are some okay Legos in here. What I just put on your shelf. Oh, is it the same one? Yeah, same exact same one. Same character? Well, that's pretty funny. We'll probably take them. The way we both have one. The rain cord. Oh, is it? Let's grab some of these bigger Legos. God, I wish I was. Is that Snake Eyes or the other one? I can't remember the names. That's uh, not Snake Eyes, the other one. The other one, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, here you go. You've got two Godzillas? Yeah, this is the original type look from Japanese films. And then when America did their own version, they changed his look up. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was cool to find both of them. First of all, oh, yeah. Second of all, eight and a half by 11 picture frame. What do Very you got? Very nice look. Ooh. A little stylish. I'll take that. Also, here's a Pop-Tart. Oh, it's a Pop-Tart case. Cool. It's a one-off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show off some of the stuff we got at the Google bins. Actually, probably the coolest thing, shutters. Shutters for the front of the house. Uh, I'm gonna paint those later. Matter of fact, I picked up some like discount spray paint the other day and I think these will go on there nice. These are plastic, real light, so they didn't even really cost much at the bins. So I'm gonna paint them blue, slap them on the house. Also, just some extra painting stuff. I know that wouldn't have cost much to buy new, but it would have cost more than 50 cents. Mm -hmm. Boxes for shipping, boxes for sorting. You know what these are? They're heavy duty drawer pulls. So if you want a, a real heavy drawer, which I could actually put one under this bench, a uh, whole lot of weight, so that'd be good. Oh, I've just got so much nonsense though. <laughs> this is actually a dark tag Nerf gun. It shoots special bullets that have uh, Velcro tips. I actually, funny enough, found both of these. I'm not sure what the other one is. Here it is. Uh, for both your metric and standard socket sets. And I can hang those right on the, on the pegboard. I keep looking at these at Royal King and they're like six, seven dollars a piece. Just got them at the bins. We've been collecting picture frames around here. That's eight and a half by 11. Uh, so I, I can hang something up in the office. Bought a handful of cables. Those are all HDMI cables, uh, two HDMI cables. I know this seems like, like why would you buy this, you hoarder? But that's actually a saxophone mouthpiece. I've got a bucket full of instrument parts in the other room and I tend to work on that stuff. I was patching drywall holes yesterday and spent like $20 on a couple of rolls. And sure enough, I found one of the bins, but That'll get put to use. I've got a few more holes to patch. Uh, TI-83, Josh found. I actually already have a bucket full of uh, like spare parts for uh, Beats headphones, so I'm just gonna add this to them. I've already, I've, I've in my lifetime put together a few pairs of Beats from spare parts. Stopwatch. What'd you say it was, Cinderella? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I, how do you open it? Yeah, so that'll go on my watch keychain wall. Uh, where's the other one? Enough said. PC version of this, which sucks. I have a 3DO empty box for this game, but that's not 3DO, it's PC, CD-ROM. Uh, I bought a handful of CDs today, Van Halen, stuff like that. Uh, actually, I'll show you my favorite one. Love it. 
And then one one video game today, Sega Saturn. They told me USA, not even really a particularly great game. A single Nerf gun, uh, and, and along with that other, a, a second Nerf gun, along with that other one, I'm keeping one of everything. So these are gonna go on my Nerf wall. I have this over on the Rubik's shelf, but it's missing its stickers, so that's good. I'd kill to find the complete series. King of the Hills getting a, not even a reboot, or not even a reboot, a revival, continuation, I, yes. Oh, I didn't know uh, They just announced it very recently. So I'd love to give the old stuff a rewatch, but it's season four, so. I guess I'll start on the fourth season. Do you remember back in the day you could smoke your Marlboro cigarettes and send in the barcodes from them and trade them in for stuff oh, in a I magazine? Did. I did all the time. Well, I never smoked. I was too, I was too young for that. It would have been like when I was five. But this, see how it says Marlboro on it? I think I was three. You can get that out of a Marlboro catalog. I used to need to buy more cigarettes. That is ammunition for a Fortnite Nerf gun. I have long said I want to have a shelf full of yellow stuff. You guys know how I have my yellow bookcases. I want to put one white bookcase in the middle of the yellow shelves and just put yellow stuff on it. <laughs> so it's all yellow shelves full of colorful stuff and then one white one full of yellow stuff. That's for my yellow bookshelf. That's real. That sounds real hoardery, doesn't it? It'd be cool to take these stickers off and get one printed out so I start Tendo. I didn't get, there's a bunch of other nonsense in here. Zebra. Rubber duck. Oh yeah! Yo yo. <laughs> what else? Some more paint stuff. Oh yeah, Jackass. I just saw the new Jackass movie in theaters. I want to go back and rewatch the other ones. I just watched the first one with my little brother. Now we can watch the second one because I found it on DVD. Painter's tape. More paint stuff. This whole bag's full of Lego that Josh found. So not bad, but my best find was, of course, this chair. Uh, because it's actually wide enough for me, so this is for my office here. You think I'd take it home and play video games in it because it looks like a gaming chair, but it's for here. Josh, is this your best find? Yeah, probably. Really no. nice on face backpack. Practically new. Looks good. Hannah, come show us your best finds. My top three. I got this really cool fringy jacket. Very awesome. I got a Bratz doll <laughs> for my collection. I don't have that one yet. I do now. And then I've got this really cool towel jacket so, thing. So can we confirm that someone made that out of towels or do you think this? Oh, for sure. Like you can kind of, you can pretty much tell on the inside, like there's the, the edging for the towel. It's still got the, uh, the tag for the towel in it. Right here. Oh really? Oh, wow. yeah. That's wild. It's made in USA. Hey, do you think they made it to wear it to the beach? I don't know. I, I hope they just wore it to the grocery store because they're a badass. <laughs> what would you do? Where would you wear the beach towel to? To the beach or the grocery store? Uh, comment below what's your favorite thing we found today and uh, stick around because I'm sure there's more to come. So the bins was awesome. Bag full of stuff, little stuff to resell. My buddy went home with a GameCube controller and he had been telling me after he saw all my gaming stuff that I brought back that like, he wanted a silver controller. He just mentioned that the other day and we just happened to find one and that's the magic of the bins. So I'm happy he was able to get one of those. And every time I take somebody new to the Goodwill bins, I tell them we're gonna ask them what they think and then I never film them, I never ask them that. But he did say to me after we left that like, let me know next time you're going, I'm going with you. So I think he's hooked and I call that a win. Now, back to the shop. We did a lot of bike related stuff on last week's episode at the shop, just setting up a bike workstation and stuff like that. If you haven't watched that already, go watch it because it was cool. But this week we actually got to riding some bikes. It was awesome. Quick stop to Walmart because Josh's bike needs a couple more parts. Josh and I are going to get matching kickstands. Twinsies. <laughs> Insert cash or select payment type. All right, it's bike time. I'm telling you, man, I love it. It's I've never had a bike so big. Oh yeah, I got a bunch more patches put on it too. All right, Let's see if I can get in there. There's just not a lot of room for my big fingers. <laughs> All right, this is definitely gonna need to be raised. Well, let's see where it's at. All right. All right, this one might be a little tall, but it's perfect. I think so. It needs to lean a little or it'll go the other way. Yeah, true. This one's easily adjustable though. It's got like 
quick release. Nice. That's a, this is a giant BMX bike. It's BMX, but for people my size. Do a puppy hop! You know what this looks like? Uh -huh. A GTA garage, but with bicycles. <laughs> Also, while Josh is here, we're gonna go ahead and pick out a poster from the poster collection for this frame that I bought at the Goodwill yesterday in his neck of the woods. It's kind of crazy. This picture frame has like screws and all kinds of stuff hanging, holding it together. All right, let's see what Josh picked out to hang in the office. Ooh. That's Spider-Man 2099, isn't it? Yeah. All right, lay it on here and see if it's the same size as this is not. I've been eyeballing it when buying these frames. Well, I think I nailed it. Yeah, I think you did. I mother effing nailed it. Okay, picked up, you hold on to that. I'll get rid of this artwork. That's what was in there. Now we'll put a couple of brackets back in and then flip it over and make sure it looks all right. Uh, there you go. Spider-Man poster number two. Number one still over here. I just need to go to the thrift to bring home more of these cheaper frames. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're nicer too than the ones you get at Walmart. Yeah, slightly. That was like two or three bucks. I think I paid four for that one, but that one's really heavy duty. Yeah. But we got a lot of room to go. High five. Ooh. Don't get performance anxiety now. Oh yeah. See ya. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> if, if you don't hit at least one ramp while we're out. <laughs> we're gonna go for a bike ride. I've just been real torn. Dakota's got two of these giant BMX bikes. You've probably seen me working on them around the shop. And then I've got my mountain bike, which is so comfortable. These things are not comfortable, but they're cool. I mean, look at this. Look at that, and then yours. Yours is so big. My mountain bike is about as big as a mountain bike as money can buy you. But it don't even matter. This BMX bike is bigger. Heck yeah. It's crazy you found a helmet to fit that big head. I used to have to clean the windows at that RWRA all the time. Check this attractive angle out. Call it up the nose. You ever wonder why in Jackass they don't strap more GoPros and stuff? All the time. I'm like, this would look real cool with a GoPro. Jeff Tremaine, if you're watching, I'm not criticizing. Call me. Keep the momentum. I lost the momentum. We're rolling up on the Ohio River. Welcome. I think we're flooded. We got a good little flood, don't we? You can usually walk down by the trees, can't you? When was the last time you did this? I don't know. Middle school. When it was cool. I can't even sit on the handlebars. <laughs> Too tall? Too tall. <laughs> Wash the grass. Ooh, nutbag. I think if I put together a compilation right now of everyone who's come through the shop to check out my yellow bookshelves, I'd probably have like a five or six minute video of people just freaking out going, whoa, yeah, and I'm kinda, kinda, kinda waiting to like put that together maybe a little bit down the road when that area is finished. Uh, but in this video, in the last couple of videos, you'll see some clips of people doing that. And that is like half of the reason why I'm doing all this. Yeah, I like having my workshop. I love doing all this. And I'm excited about what these tools and this space means for this channel. But man, am I happy to be home and have my friends come through these yellow bookshelves and just see the things they had when they were kids and stuff. Uh, it's the best thing about this space by far. Josh has come by the shop again. Hello. Josh, let me give you a quick tour of what I've done so these guys can see too. Yeah. Today's business was mainly just getting a charging drawer set up because we've got all these cameras. So this camera can go right in this drawer, plug up here. Nice, nice. All my, all my batteries should be good to go now. I've been miserable without that because I'm like, I get to, I get here every day and I'm like, you know what? Can't film because the camera's dead. Um, I've showed these guys already. They've seen our new bike station and Josh appreciates this because he's brought his bike by today and we've already tuned her up with all the bike tools. 
This is my new favorite tool. <laughs> Tell me that's not awesome. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I've aired up every bike that every friend of mine owns just because I've got it. Okay, and then what was, this was the thing I was excited to show you. Check that out. Boom. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the best. I knew you were going to oh, appreciate yeah, this. That's so cool. I've uh, I've been working pretty hard on it, and I'm still going to do the rest of the bookcase with the pegboard, and that's going to be I nothing. Love all the little, uh, watches, too. Yeah, that's definitely cool. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to have a fully displayed keychain collection for a while. Yeah, I don't even know where oh, some of like this switching. is from. So you see the American Furbies. These okay. are actually UK Furbies, I believe. So I only released UK? Yeah. Wow. That's quite a bit too. Yeah, it's the whole set. Oh, wow. I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, that's cool. One that's of these fine. guys sent it to me. Spyro, yeah, and he's like, Hang just yeah, wrapped around. And this is my whole keychain collection. So like, I definitely have room to grow down the rest of the shelf. Ooh, I'm loving my yo-yos. Yeah, those weren't here last time you were here, were they? No, this whole part wasn't. Oh, this is what you got uh, yesterday at the uh, comic store? Well, I'm glad you're here. That's my Pog collection as it is. And then I, when I saw you at the comic store the other day, I bought more. I'm going to actually go get them, so I'll be right back. All right, here, bust these open. Let's put them on the Pog collection. Is that a keychain? Yeah. Heck yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh keychain. Let's put it right there. So yeah, I already have a pretty large collection of slammers, but they're my favorite part of Pogs. Cause like you get some real ridiculous ones. Like look, saw blade. What the, how do you even play it? Kinda. Well, like throw it on there. Yeah, yeah. Or? Like that's probably a piece of Lexan, right? Oh like, yeah, most definitely. Okay, so just, uh, there's not even space for them. So just put them kind of in there, dump them out. I'll give you a quick Pog tutorial, Josh, since you don't, since you're just a little bit younger than me and don't remember, uh, you and your opponent both have a stack of Pogs, you put it in the middle of the arena, and then you slam them. I didn't knock any over, but anything that goes face down and you see the back of, you keep of your opponents. Okay. You try to get each other's Pogs. Oh, okay. And that's pretty much it. And I have all the slammers in the world. <laughs> all the slammers in the world. Oh, that's pretty dope. A little wooden one. Yeah. That's cool. Still in package. Oh, see, that's what I love about VHS tapes right there. That's just so dope. Isn't that beautiful? But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hit the subscribe button. Pretty please hit that like button. Help us keep the momentum we have right now so I can make bigger, better workshop videos. I'd appreciate it. Help us get to 15,000 subs. We are on our way there. Now, do come back next week uh, because... We got a lot of more like, <sighs> that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hit the subscribe button pretty please before we go. Help us keep moving to 15,000 subs. We're gonna get there soon. If we keep up the pace we're at right now, I'd really appreciate it. Notifications on because we're gonna post some videos really soon doing way more workshop stuff, way more Goodwill bins shopping. I've got like a group of people, I think maybe ready to go to the Goodwill bins in another week or two and that'll be a good video to come back <sighs> let's not do that all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging out do me a huge favor hit the subscribe button help us keep our momentum to 15,000 subs pretty please hit the like button do all that stuff and then most importantly make sure that the notifications are on because you're going to want to come back for the next video because we've already been shooting some of it and it's kind of awesome and i'd love to have you here for it and then until next time peace out